clumsy me spilt beer on my laptop. So that's what I get to deal with today. Excellent. wide open walls week in Sacramento when a whole bunch of artists are commissioned to paint some awesome murals like that one all over the city so it's pretty cool stuff but it is time to go back to the office because we're gonna talk to Ellis It's my job to write and program all the control software that we have on all the systems that we ship. Basically, my job at TenKiv is to take all the data that we're generating and turn it into something intelligible so the system can make the correct decisions. I mostly write in Java and Kotlin code. And they're shouting. All right, I'll wait for them to finish screaming. They're not done screaming. Since our project is going to be deployed in so many different locations, we need a set of software that allows our system to be as modular and as adaptable as possible. The part of what I do here is create a set of sort of machine learning programs that allows our system to regulate itself, adapt to different situations, and produce the optimal amount of energy in wherever it's deployed. I'm currently working on a program that allows you to manage and sort of control a bunch of different data acquisition systems from a single code base. So this allows us to interface with all the different data acquisition systems, including our tech DAC, uh, from a single library. And it allows us to write a single code base which is as, adapt as adaptable as possible. Uh, I ended up at TenKiv. Um, I started out as an intern. They liked the work I did, and so I got hired on full-time. I really don't have a favorite superhero. I think morally complicated characters are uh, a lot more interesting than the sort of black and white morality that you often see portrayed. So I think I'm gonna have to say like Doctor Doom would be my favorite from the genre. Since all the software we write here at TenKiv is completely open source, I'm going to go ahead and advocate for everyone listening. You know, just go out and contribute to whatever projects that you find interesting. The community is really important. It's important to sort of develop um, an entire ecosystem of free and open source stuff so that we know all the code that's being executed. This is like, you know, doubly as important now that, you know, the NSA is trying to get backdoors and absolutely everything. And I think we at TenKiv are sort of doing our part at least because all of our stuff is completely free, completely open source. So you can go ahead and modify um, the TechDAC firmware if you want. You can modify um, the TechDAC software. You can basically build upon it, you can expand upon it, modify it to suit your own needs. My name is Ellis Berry. I'm a software programmer here at TenKiv. Now that that's over, it's time for me to head home and start editing this because tomorrow, Joe and I have to finish up with the demo panel. Not a whole lot of time left. See you guys then. Joe's picking me up. It's another day down to the wire because the Singularity University Global Change Summit is this weekend and uh, it's right now Thursday and we're still not done with all of our exhibit stuff, especially the demo panel. So we're gonna be going around trying to get the components that we need to get this panel completed. So I'll probably swap to that in a minute and you'll see it. Joe deciding what glue to get. All right, so uh, we got the end cut off. We got the main absorber out. We gotta clean a couple of pieces. We gotta uh, just get it exhibition ready. I think the f main goal right now is to lighten the panel itself so it's easy to transport and easy for me to Aria to 
not kill ourselves while we move it around. We'll check back in a little bit later. Lots of work, as Joe described, still to do. Um, so hopefully we don't run into any more issues. One of the major things Joe, Joe was talking about is, so we only need a certain amount of the panel because it's just gonna be a display unit. Uh, so as much of the inside as we can take out to lighten it up, since we gotta take this thing you know, to trade shows and, and stuff like that, it's gonna make life a lot easier if we can make it as light as possible. Uh, but that's easier said than done. So we'll see how much we'll be able to do. We've gotten these little handles. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill these handles into the sides of the panel so that it'll be a lot easier for us to carry the panel around. Cause right now there's no handles and you're just kind of, it's clumsy trying to just put your hands underneath it. There's nothing to, hold, to grab. So hopefully these handles help out with that. set we've got the glass on top we've got all this weight on it to make sure that it sticks to the glue and uh, that's got to that's got to dry for 24 hours but I will see you next when we are at the singularity event so wish us luck